yard line. Ward, under pressure, hit, escapes. Throws, caught. Farrell, cuts. Ward calls his own number. End zone touchdown. Ward on the rollout. Schlembeck has got it. Touchdown. Looking for the corner. It's Williams. Oh, it's right there for the home run. Touchdown. Cougars there. Flat-footed. Out to the perimeter. Slicing. Yo, yo, yo. Welcome to the Concrete Show, man. It's your boy, Salo. And we back at this thing again, keeping at 1K, man, real quick. You already know, man, shout out to all the subscribers to the channel, the viewer, everybody, man. Remember, always keep everything 1,000, man. That's the best thing you can do in your life, man. Keep it 100, keep it 1,000 with everybody, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's all people ask for, really, at the end of the day. But, you know what I'm saying? Y'all see what time it is, man. The green screen, you know what I'm saying? I'm flipping in and out, man. I'm losing fingers, I'm losing hands, etc., man. But we all know it's all about just you, baby. And we just got good news about this you cam or to the you know what i'm saying everybody got their opinions on it man but i seen a post today earlier it's actually your boy gabby rita shout out to your boy gabby man the boy they said he worked super hella hard man for for this miami hurricane for these miami hurricanes man getting information talking to recruits etc man that boy he is doing his thing man shout out to the young boy bro but Gabriel Uter, man, he, he said, um, he thinks Mario is the first ever coach to flip a player from going to the NFL draft. Like, Cam Moore, he, he said he's going to the NFL draft. And Mario said, no thanks. Put some pancakes on that. You know what I'm saying? Flip that thing a couple of times. And that's what we have right now. Cam Moore to the U. A little background on Cam Moore for all the haters out there. Who was Cam Moore about? Don't worry about that. We're going to take care of that a little bit. You know what I'm saying? That boy, he went to... I don't know, something weird. I'm not even going to give him too much of a thing. Man, shout out to that school, though, man. You know what I'm saying? He went to an FCS school. You know what I'm saying? He started out there. I want to say he transferred a couple of times. I don't know. I can't give it a detail. But either way, he's a fifth year, sixth year guy. You know what I'm saying? Went to FCS school, man. That boy broke records, threw over 4,000 passing yards, almost 50 touchdowns. Almost 50 touchdowns. He said, hey, I'm too good for this. Man. You know what I'm saying? I got a, you know what I'm saying? Shout out. I, I just feel like I can, I'm, I, I got under, you know, I got to take my talents to the FBS, man, to the to the real deal. You know what I'm saying? P5, let me go to Washington State. Man, shout out to, uh, dang, I forgot the coach name, man, who just passed away, man. Mike Leach. Shout out to Mike Leach, man. Rest in peace to Mike Leach, bro. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to him. Say that he coached at Washington State. You know what I'm saying? But shout out to him, man. But um He went to Washington State. Threw for 30, 23 tutties, nine, nine interceptions, 3,200 yards. That was in 2022. 2023. Got his got um everything under his belt, man. Got his win under him, you know what I'm saying? Threw for 3,700 yards. 25 tutties. QB rated a 145.4. Um, I'm saying that's, that's for P5. That's pretty good. You know what I'm saying? They said the only the hardest thing about him is turnovers. You know what I'm saying? Not as far as interception. They say he just kept bumbling the damn ball and turning that thing over. You know what I'm saying, but that comes with sacks. Him getting sacked all the damn time. But guess what? You in good shape, my boy, because you come into a very good old mind. Under Mario Crystal Ball and Alex Mirabal, they're gonna hold you down. They're gonna make sure you straight. Okay? And Shannon Dawson will make sure you get that thing out your hand. All right? So we in a whole completely different situation now. Now, I'm not saying Cam Ward is the, is the most elusive guy in the world, but he can't find a way to get himself out of trouble. You know what I'm saying? He will carry that thing a couple of times. Last year, he ran for 144 yards. You know what I'm saying? It's not too much. I mean, he ran for eight tutties, but you got to remember, in college football, if you get sacked, they count that as a run play. You know what I'm saying? So if I get sacked in college football for eight yards, they're going to say, oh, he rushed for negative eight yards. You know what I'm saying? And like I just said before, his old line and Washington State was not the best. But like I said, we don't take care of that boy. Alex Mirabal and Coach Mario Cristobal, they're going to take care of it. They're going to they gonna make sure he's straight. You know what I'm saying? To get that thing off. 
I wish you would have committed earlier, man. If you would have came earlier, man, we probably would have had a better chance of getting Jeremiah Smith. You know what I'm saying? But that's old news under the rug. Shout out to Jeremiah Smith, man. Good luck to the young man. You know what I'm saying? He had to do what's best for his future. You know what I'm saying? Got to think about an 18-year-old picking what college they're going to spend for the next three to four years. And that's tough. You know what I'm saying? And we put them in a tough situation. You know what I'm saying? I'll be with me. We, I mean, we got to... We gotta do what we gotta do. You know what I'm saying? They 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 showed him hella love. Shout out to Gabby again. They said he was in Miami a couple times. You know what I'm saying? That's how we was in that fight with him. Got him on campus a few times and you know I'm saying that's that's it is what it is, man. Back to Cam Ward, shout out to Rick Ross, man. You know what I'm saying? Taking that boy to a nice luxurious restaurant, you know what I'm saying? Pound one twelve. I don't know what where else they went afterward. Well, I'm assuming it was some pretty good spots where the young man could enjoy himself. All right, so, um, sorry, man. I'm I'm trying to be as happy as I can because I put some money on the Dallas Cowboys versus the Green Bay Packers in this playoff game. You know what I'm saying, and they, of course, shit the cool. You know what I'm saying Vegas got me. They got me. Shout out to Vegas, man. They 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 got me. They 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 know what time it is. I'm not even finna get too much into it, man. But Cam Ward, you know I'm saying, what does this mean? All right. The only negative thing I have about it, really, man, is even if he, uh, we got high expectations for King Boy. Uh -huh. We have very high expectations for the young man. But if he performs that, I'm assuming that we, we compensated him pretty well. You know what I'm saying? Where he decided to forego the NFL draft. Because they say he was a day two guy, like round two, two or three. You know what I'm saying? So he would have still got a decent amount of good money. I'm saying they would the NFL would have would have would have set them straight. But I'm assuming that we had hooked them up. It was probably around the same, maybe a little lower. Who knows? Because he said he wanted to be a day one pick. He said that he feel like this is time today. He's coming to Miami to show that he can still be a day one pick. You know what I'm saying? So he's gonna have to play his ass off to be a day one pick. He's gonna have to have some Heisman type numbers. You know what I'm saying that he said he sees us going to the playoffs. All right, but me just watch the Dallas Cowboys game. Uh, disclaimer, I'm not a Dallas Cowboys fan, but you guys can see the similarities with the Miami Hurricanes and the Dallas Cowboys. You know what I'm saying it's, it's probably just a Jimmy Johnson thing. I don't know what the hell is going on, but neither team has any luck. <laughs> like Dallas Cowboys, they've been it's been like this for them for the past 30 years. Us, the past 20 years. You know what I'm saying so I'm hoping somebody snaps this curse. But we gonna shout out to Cam Ward, man. I think he's gonna do it, man. And I'm always believing in Mario Crystal Ball, man. I'm saying we yeah, I'm not even gonna get into this whole Mario Crystal Ball, how everybody feel about him, man. It's just it's starting to get annoying, man. It's like, bro, just relax. You know what I'm saying? This in my opinion, I don't think Miami Hurricanes fans, we don't have the luxury to to freaking say that Mario Cristobal is a bad coach going into year three. You know what I'm saying? Because how many conference championships have we won in the past 20 years? All right. So as fans, we probably don't know what the hell we talking about. How many conference championships has Mario Cristobal won? <laughs> Way more than we won in the past three years. I mean, all you got to do is win one. And I mean, in the past 20 years, all you got to do is win one. And then you already beat Miami. You know what I'm saying? So just sit your ass, sit, just relax. Okay, be patient. I mean, it's, it's, it's cool. Let the man do his thing. All right, it's parroting all this Manny Diaz stuff. Manny Diaz is that dude, man. Come on, man, let him let him do his thing over there. Let him come in a hard rock and get his ass whooped versus us, man, and just move on, man. But anyway, man, once again, shout out to Can World. Shout out, shout out to Reese Puffin Barger, man. Shout out to uh, Ja'Cory Brown, you know what I'm saying? I don't think this is the end for Ja'Cory Brown. You know what I'm saying, I think the young man is gonna, he could probably learn a lot from Cam Ward, you know what I'm saying? Get his bearings on him next spring. You know what I'm saying? Cause I don't I don't see him playing this year just because I think we're gonna give Cam Ward enough money where he's gonna have to be the starter, you know what I'm saying? Barring an injury, God God forbid it. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna see what's up, man. You know what I'm saying hopefully Ja'Cory Brown, I'm still a believe I'm a J I'm a JB eleven fan, man. You know what I'm saying I'm hoping that he is the real deal. You know what I'm saying? And I know he could be the real deal just from watching him, bro. Like, he has all the ability in the world. You feel me? I'm saying, but I don't know. I'm a, he's going to have to sit down another year. He has no choice. You know what I'm saying? Let Cam Ward show him 
the ins and the out, man. Maybe he can learn a few things from him. He's going to be a fifth year guy. I don't know how old Cam Ward is, man, but <laughs> too many got a lot of experience. So we're going to, JD, a lot of learn in him, man. I don't, he, he's, I don't know if it's going to be a selfish type thing because, I mean, everybody's in it for himself. He said he's trying to get his draft stock up. You know what I'm saying? So, but we're going to really see what type of player he is, man. If he's about this you or he's just about Cam Ward. You know what I'm saying? But if you win this thing, boy, you win it all the way. Okay, you know what come with it, man. Just listen to our fans. You know what I'm saying they were the Mario going after game one of last year, and we won that bitch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying so. This is just an impatient fan base, man. So shout out to everybody, man. You know what I'm saying? Comment, like, subscribe, man. Let me know your thoughts on Cam Ward coming to the U. New addition, boy, to the family, man. Remember, man, it's all about this U, and always keep everything 1K. You. Mr. Hundred Times Ten, keep it one thousand. Fuck your hoe by the thousand. Don't fuck the other thousand. Stacking money by the thousand. I'ma stack my money by the thousand.